Monday Junior was talking on my show, he said like you came to him a while ago saying uh -huh. that you were gonna have him on one of your promotions. Yeah. So like what was the like when you finally got to go up to him and make this happen? I, you know, as big as he is, he knows I could turn into a bully. So I've been bullying him for like, I don't know, two years. I get him right when he's done with his practice in the locker room. I shove him up against the locker. I need you to sign this contract. He's like, no, Masvidal, I got a contract here and there. Singano, I need you to sign this, bro. You got to come fight with me. Talk to me. And at first, you know, he was very like, oh, there's no way you could afford me, you know? And then it, it took some time. It took some conversation. Then he found out, no, we're dead serious. And you're the guy that I want to represent us in bare knuckle. You're the guy that I want out there and compete, you know? So um, it, it took a while. The negotiations took a while. He did have a deal with another company that deal expired he became a free agent told me hey i'm a free agent that means you can fight for us boom now we started talking numbers immediately we we were able to figure that out called my partner dean two and i go guess uh who's a free agent and wants to fight who junior dos santos bare knuckle on that same moment that same breath he tells me that fabricio Verdum is a free agent and wants to fight bare knuckle that he had just found out four hours before and I went to the gym, and then I had a conversation with him, and it all just came. It was just the stars were sore lined. It's crazy. You've, uh, you've come out with some pretty heavy hitters, like your first couple of promotions. With the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When you wanted to get into the promotion thing, I know you've been doing a lot of stuff locally, but, like, once you were after the fight career, was that, like, a point that you wanted to make come out even bigger with a splash from the promoter side of things? I, not, not just on the promoter side of things. The way I see it is in, is in the fan side of things. And I'm a f fan of this sport like you don't understand i love this sport this sport is everything to me i'm able to provide for my family because of this sport so to me um it has to be at a certain value you know at a certain level of intensity of skill wise that, that i'm putting out there to the public that's why i think we're doing well because they know i'm trying to get the best matchups possible it's not that i'm just trying to promote a great event no i'm trying to put the best fighters on the planet that i can get my hands on to compete against each other bare knuckle that's all i'm trying to do and people love that What's, uh, can you, for the people who haven't seen bare knuckle MMA, like what's the, because we've seen the bare knuckle boxing uh -huh. definitely kind of come up, but like the, adding the MMA element to it. Uh, the MMA, the a MMA from every event that I've been to. Now, remember, there was you've seen the beginning that had no gloves, and then the sport added rules like time, no eye pokes, no kicking in the balls. So since the sport's been like fully what it is right now, it's never been bare knuckle. So ours is the first to do that. And what we've noticed in that is that the submissions and finishes go up. Striking for finishes go up as well. So if you got somebody's back now, instead of them just grabbing that glove and kind of stalling, or there's like these little pockets that you can't get into because I have here this, and now I have two gloves and you have one glove and you're trying to get it here, it could be hard. When you don't have gloves and there's sweat, these hands are damn near unstoppable with the right BJJ guys. So it's like now it makes it worth taking somebody's back. Because you'll see him viciously attacking the neck the whole time, not worried about getting out. I'm seeing more rear nakeds than ever, you know? And it's it's mainly because of that. You you can't stop it. In the guillotine now, you don't have four pairs of gloves potentially on the hands. You got no gloves, and hands are slippery, and they can move quick, readjust, and attack. So the submission rate is, is going through the roof, and the finishes with the striking, I mean, you can just imagine. It's, it's a lot of knockouts, you know? Do you, um, are you getting like, a lot of feedback from other fighters when they're, you know, that they want to come to your promotion? Ooh. Like, how has that been like for you? Oh, ton. I just got to open up the DM, you know, we have a department just for that, to open up the, the DMs and go through the requests of the people and individuals and great athletes that are hitting me up to want to fight, you know. And that was before we had JDS versus Vidum. After this, it's going to be a different level and a different level, you know, and... We're gonna keep these guys busy, which is another thing. You know, we're gonna put on 12 shows next year. Who doesn't want to sign, you know? I got one weird question for you. Uh, I asked you about this earlier in the year about Tua taking judo. He's actually taking jujitsu. Okay. How long do you think it would take somebody to get muscle memory of just learning how to protect themselves following jujitsu? Like, how many classes? I, bro, it really depends on the coach. It really depends on the athlete. You know, and jujitsu could definitely help, but jujitsu is is not the best one for I think his situation. I think judo would be better because they're what they're trying to do in judo is slam each other as hard as they can through that fing mat. Jiu Jitsu they're not really trying to do that. So if you could learn how to break a fall in judo, it, you're much better. You break a fall anywhere. It's a different level, you know. Then I, I would think jujitsu that you start on your back. Yeah they could teach you how to break falls and all that, but they're not gonna have the sauce like the judo guys for breaking the falls. Because they take the, the biggest falls. Appreciate it. Yes sir.